You mean these people use as currency human excrement? I could make a fortune. The title is One of the Characters from Quest for an Unknown Planet is Going to Die. That's not good. No. It has a quote which says it's from Ron Barrett, one of the writers and creators of Kawufua. Let's see. Uh, I love the cast. They really have fit in well with the characters. It's almost as if we're one big family. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, okay. Uh, then it continues. Um, it's hard to lose a family member, even if you know it's coming. You don't want them to die, even if you know it has to happen. End quote. The entire planet's been hit by the zombie virus, except for a small group of holdouts. Right. And the holdouts are mistrustful of the crew, right? They think the crew has the zombie virus, but they're not showing symptoms yet. So they isolate them in a shimmering non-Euclidean isolation pod, Let's right? Let's make it a bamboo cage. Why a bamboo cage? Animal Planet's using one down the hall. We can get it for cheap. Do you two need anything else? No. Are you an intern or something? No. Uh, we're just taking a break from filming for lunch and I thought I'd see how my two favorite writers are doing. We're doing very good. We're enjoying this unseasonable warmness that's been happening lately. We're writing right now. So we're gonna go back to writing. Okay, the bamboo cage has collected ionic disturbances, right? And those di ionic disturbances are limiting Pharaoh's power. What about if Pharaoh mm -hmm. gets a zombie virus? <gasps> yes. But because he's immortal, he doesn't die. Yes. It just disables his powers. Yes, I like that. It's not Pharaoh. Leaving Quinn and the rest of the crew to deal with the zombies. So Quinn... Hey guys. Hey. What you doing in here, writing? That is fan. Fantastic. Hey, did you know the human body cannot survive without a heart? Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, or without a head. Or without a heart or a head. Thank you for that lesson. Sure, sure. Hey, you know, speaking of writing, uh, here's a little writing from Media Watchdog TV Guide. <clears throat> Quinn Crusher is the heart of the show, contemplating the effects the crew has on the planets they visit. As the crew's super genius, however, he is also the head. The heart and the head. Well, I hope you guys uh, don't go make any, you know, rash decisions. But uh, I'll let you get back to it. Okay? All right. Just be in my trailer. Memorizing my lines exactly as they are written cannot improve on what is already so great. You guys take it easy. Thanks. Awesome. And I really mean this. Love you guys. All right, what's going on? They're acting crazy. They're acting like actors. It's in their nature. They're idiots. Yammering puppets who do whatever we tell them to. They're not idiots. Really? Think of it this way. Who's smarter, right? Um, a newscaster who just reads off of some teleprompter that, oh, there's been a terrorist attack. Or the terrorist who actually had to plan out, plot, and then execute that heinous crime. Are we the terrorists in this analogy? Sure, but yeah, like the smart terrorists, like the ones in Die Hard. Yeah, but they're still terrorists. But they're not, that doesn't make them bad. No, it definitely, by definition, terrorists are bad. But nope. they, they're the hero, like you root for them in Die Hard. Or... You rooted for the terrorists in Die Hard? John McClane's, he kills that guy's brother. Yeah, but only after they, they took his wife hostage and killed that other guy, the cokehead. He deserved to die. He, he did I deserve didn't to for die. Him. Nobody not, rooted for him. Nobody, but I'm John McClane was still sad to see him go. I think John McClane is a stand-in for Reaganomics. And his failure, when he walks across broken glass, that's walking across the broken dreams of the poor. Anyway, all I'm saying is that I can't act. So I feel like what they do has got to be pretty tough. Oh. I'm sorry to interrupt, but have either of you seen my BAFTA award? No. No. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Yes, I found my BAFTA award. 
<laughs> my BAFTA award for the excellence in the acting arts. I thought I'd lost it because I noticed a space missing on my shelf between my Blockbuster award and my Cable Ace awards. But I guess it was here the entire time. <laughs> oh, well, I better go put it back on my shelf. Of awards. BAFTA. So I'm thinking acts two and three should be set entirely inside the bunker. That way uh, we don't have to build the sets, but also it creates a better sense of tension and it makes the zombies scarier. Yeah, yes. It's like alien, or to a lesser extent, aliens. But the eternal question is, fast zombies or slow zombies? How about medium zombies? That's kind of stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. Um, we can think of something better. Middle zombies. It's gotta be middle zombies because it's as if cellular regeneration has stalled, but due to the lack of telomere decay, they're able to reach reasonable, but not excessive speeds. Write that down, let me write that down. Where's a pen? We don't need to write that down. Yeah, we do for the commentary, for the science commentary. What are you doing? Just thought you two might like some cookies. Thank you, yes, of course we want cookies. People want cookies all the time, they're delicious. That's why they call them cookies. People want to eat them. But why are you busting in? While we're trying to get our jobs done, then we can't write this episode finished Run. by Thursday. And if Run. we don't finish it by Thursday, Run. people are gonna be freaking out Friday because we're gonna have a read through on Monday. It's okay, all right? He's just being nice. He's being strangely nice. They're just cookies. Calm down. I'm, I'm really sorry, I blew up there. I. I didn't mean to attack you, Quinn. Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm really sorry, Jeremy. No, no, no. We've had a lot of interruptions today, and it's been a very hard day. And to be honest, I found out today that my grandfather's being taken off life support. So just a tough day all around. Wait a minute. You, you, your grandfather? Did you, did you tell anyone about this? Yeah, I told Josh, of course. Well, sure. And now I'm telling you. And that's it. And I told a blogger this morning. What exactly did you say to the blogger? Said that it's really hard when a family member dies. Uh-huh, okay, yeah. You said, you said a family member is yeah. going to die? Because a family member is going to die. Yeah, you said a family member is going to die. Yeah. Okay, because that means we're all out there thinking, and you guys are in here like, and we're like, do you understand? I told you actors are idiots. I wanted a cookie. Do you want a candy corn? No. Yeah. Sorry, I cannot help. That's all right, Farrell. Just let me focus on this. Hey, has anyone seen my pocket watch? I think I left it in my pocket. It's not. Maybe it's No, I'm really more I focused on trying to defuse this bomb. It was here. Farrell, did you take it and turn it into something again? I wasn't scared for a second. Were you? I just made a mess of currency in my pants. 